This is Akashwani Itanagar, the news read by Apugapak. The Public Service Broadcasting Day was observed in India today. The day is a celebrated to honor Father of the Nation Mahatma Gandhi's only visit to All India Radio to address the displaced people temporarily settled at Kurukshetra in Haryana after partition on 12th November 1947 in New Delhi. The day was officially declared as Public Service Broadcasting Day in 2001. Union Minister of Panchayati Raj and Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying Ranjan Rajiv Singh is on his maiden visit to Lower Suban Siri and K. Banyor districts today. In his address, the Union Minister emphasized on the importance of progress in Northeast and said without taking notice along, India's visit vision of Vixit Bharat cannot be possible. He assured that any support needed from the centre shall be extended to the state without any lapses. The Union Minister also visited the Recreational Fisheries Project under PMMSY by Tagericho of Pare Ami Village in Lower Subansari District. Later, he also visited model fish farm of Likha Kamin at Yachuli in Kai Panyor District. State Chief Secretary Manish Kumar Gupta today chaired a meeting to review land acquisition cases and other issues related to the frontier highway roads and other important roads in the state. During the meeting, the Chief Secretary stated the 1,859 kilometers frontier highway roads from Napfra in West Kaming District to Vijayanagar in Changlang District, covering 11 districts, as the strategic road of national importance is being monitored by the center. Regarding it, he directed all the DCs to stick to the timelines to complete the acquisition process and also personally supervise framing of draft award. The Chief Secretary further directed the requiring agencies to extend support in the districts for expediting land acquisition process. The sixth edition of Arunachal Literature Festival ALF 2024 begins tomorrow at the DK Convention Center in Itanagar. The three-day festival is hosted by the Directorate of Information and Public Relations DIPR. This year's theme, A New Dawn of Literature, celebrates the transformative power of storytelling bringing together readers and creative writers. The festival is also conducting workshops for aspiring writers and fun activities for children in partnership with Tinkal magazine. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting along with the National Film Development Corporation NFDC and the Entertainment Society of Goa ESG is all set to host the 55th International Film Festival of India IFFI in Goa from 20 to 28th of this month. The Curtain Razor press conference of the festival was held yesterday in New Delhi. On the occasion, Union Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Dr. L. Murugan said this year's edition has seen an overwhelming response for international film submissions reflecting the festival's expanding reach and impact. Commemorating the 62nd Walong Day, the Indian Army's motorcycle expedition team completed the three-day journey covering 550 kilometers yesterday. The expedition was flagged in at the War Walong War Memorial, where riders paid tribute to the martyrs of 1962 Battle of Walong. Earlier, about 20 riders from the Indian Army and local adventure enthusiasts began their journey from the Bang Valley District on the 9th of this month, crossing Roing, Teju and Hayulia. A meeting to observe the Dharti Aba Janjatiya Gram Utkarsh Anhyan, DAJGUA, was chaired by Papumpare DC Jigen Bomjan yesterday at the DC Conference Hall in Yupia. During the meeting, the DC briefed all the HODs about the activities to be undertaken and directed them to submit the list of the beneficiaries of the specified interventions. He further called for cooperation to successfully conduct the program. Meanwhile, to commemorate Tribal Freedom Fighter Birsa Munda's birth anniversary on 15th of this month. Stalls will be set up by all the departments implementing welfare schemes at UPA headquarters for public utility. The Tawang Police today conducted a district-level narcotics coordination committee NCORD meeting at the conference hall of the DC's office in Tawang. In the meeting, in charge DC Sangkhandu called for the need for heightened awareness and proactive measures to prevent any escalation of drug abuse in the district. He urged the intelligence agencies and bazaar committees on strengthening interagency coordination to combat narcotics-related activities in Tawang. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. 